time today guys we're gonna be revealing my office space setup it's a we work co-work space whatever you want to call it but today we're gonna be revealing it doing it let's do it I'd like to begin the presentation but first hit the like hit the subscribe hit the fucking like subscribe button do it Yes, I'm getting an office in the middle of COVID-19 because I'm going nuts working inside my house as some of you guys probably are experiencing now. After storming 27 Starbucks and 34 Panera Bread, it's time to get out. But as you guys can see, working from home can take a toll on you mentally. And for my mental health, I decided to sign up for a WeWork space similar. Well, it's not a WeWork space. It's actually called Spaces. We don't take care of y'all chicken. You feel me? Don't take care of your mental. It's a co-working membership, and here's the details. The plan that I decided to pick is a co-working membership. So not only do I have access to this location, I have access to all their other locations in South Florida. I can go anywhere that they own the building. I decided to do 10-day membership. So what this means is that I'm able to use the co-working space 10 days out of the month, which is more than enough that I need. And I can go two days, three days, one week, whatever I decide to choose, but 10 days are up for me. Okay, I like it. All right. The best part is it's only 150 dollars a month tax write off thank you to my accountant and it's really cool because now i get to leave my house go somewhere to work i'm not stuck inside my house i can meet clients in a public setting that's really nice really proactive and the environment's just really fun to be at sometimes because like i said being at home it just really takes a toll on you as you guys may know so why did i get a co-working space in the middle of a pandemic again i like i've said it's just taking a toll mentally working from home being outside and actually leaving my house for the day it gets the creative juices flowing i'm more productive there as opposed to being here sorry Taz, I love you, but it's the reality of it. I'm not saying that you need to do what I'm doing, but I think at some point, some people need to find their own creative outlet. Whether you want to work at a Starbucks or you want to work at Panera Bread or in your backyard, whatever works for you, everybody has their own certain situations. For me, it works out for me. It's five, 10 minutes down the road for me and I enjoy it. I like getting out of the house. Sorry, Taz, but it's true. See. I'm gonna put you up on game. What works for you will work for you. But I highly recommend looking into stuff like this. You can try it out for a day or two days. They have trial periods and find one that works near you. There's many around. There's not just the one that I have, but there's this, the same idea applies. The overall goal here is to get out of the house, get some fresh air, see new faces, interact with people. I know times are tough right now, but still you're able to interact and see other people working from home. I don't see anybody. I sometimes get locked inside this cubicle of my house. I'm sure you guys realize it as well. So being at home can be a good but also can be a bad thing too much of anything is usually never good and there you have it guys that's why i decided to do an office space going nuts i'm going nuts inside here guys i need to get out a little bit so that's why i decided to do it will i be there in six months who knows but hey i love it for now it's a really cool place to be and again if you have any questions about maybe doing something like this i know starbucks are around but with everything going on you kind of don't want to be sitting at starbucks 24 7 you want to switch it up if you guys have any questions thank you so much for watching drop a like comment subscribe do all the above give me some love on this channel because we're growing it until next time guys adios